Right. So we'll get started disconnecting the battery and removing the engine today. Seems like it's, yeah, it's cooled down enough. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've removed the air box. And as you can see, it gives you a lot more access here to get to the four bolts for the turbo charger. And as well as the motor mount and well, just good access in general. So oh, we'll keep going. Okay guys, just another quick shot. Have some more of the hoses and electrical disconnected. I'm not really going in any order. I'm just going by what I know and what I see first. So just continuing on. All right, so we have much more of the electrical connected and most of the plumbing connected. I mean, disconnected rather. Um, ran some of the coolant out of there. Had some crappy green coolant in there temporarily. That's all I could get. And now we'll take off the alternator and the AC compressor and then keep moving forward All right. okay so I put the car up on jack stands and took, just took the wheels off and what I did was I undid the screws on the uh, inside here of the fender well and once you do that you just peel this over and there's gonna be studs right there with two 10 millimeter nuts and you just reach back there with like two extensions two long ones 12 inch ones or something like that and then zip those off and then that way you just push the bumper forward at, at the same time while unsnapping right here and then the bumper will kind of uh, peel apart same thing on the other side exact same thing and then you come over to the top and you hit the, the bolt here a bolt in the center another bolt over here those are 10 millimeter as well and then the bumper assembly will come off and then you'll just have two connections right here for like your fog lights and maybe home link or something else and just pop those off and then you can take your bumper and set it over there set it elsewhere so i've actually never had the front of this bumper off and it looks like somebody whoever i bought the car from looks like they damaged this intercooler here because it's leaking pretty good there's oil all over unfortunately but i do have the plastic shroud that goes there only thing is hey okay, guys so it was pretty it was almost inevitable i had to get the front bumper into the service position and i dreaded doing it but uh it didn't take that long and it was actually pretty easy once you get the headlights out it's pretty easy to see what bolts need to come out and there's not that many there's just some down here two on this side or three on this side and three on this side and then you have one over here ties the fender into the side and the same thing on the other side it's almost pretty symmetrical and then you just got the ones on the top there and you know you can really get some extra space now in between your engine and depends how far you want to take it but i think maybe i have enough space for now so all right, let's, let's just keep going with it. AC compressor and the, uh, let's see, AC compressor and then the transmission bolts and then I can take the engine out. Okay guys, I got my crane set up. Just rolled it out of the garage. And the only thing I have to do now is get my transmission bolts undone. But I figured I'd just hook up the hoist right now and see if I can yank it just a little bit to Get it where I want it for the transmission bolts like if I can get more space uh, but other than that she's ready to finally come out thank gosh all right okay hey guys so I got her chained up and just getting out the last couple of transmission bolts on the top but I've got everything pulled aside and yeah I almost got this engine out in about five hours or so now it's time jack stands here in my backyard not too bad all right set up and uh just Looks took like, my um 
Just gotta disconnect one more wire, but I did pry it free with my little pry bar. Just get your pry bar in there and start to separate it. Make sure you got all your trans bolts and it'll come loose. And then just, uh, yeah, raise it up from there. Kept cranking, kept cranking, and saw that I had to remove some boost wires over here for the blow off valve or the diverter valve and just maybe a one or two other things. But uh, yeah, always double check your wires when you're pulling the engine. And um, yeah, there, that's what she looks like now. I don't know why it's dripping, leaking oil out the back. That ain't no good. But check that out. Anyways. Okay, got the engine out finally. And that's what it looks like with no engine. <laughs> There's a new engine going in. And I put the torque thinger back in there first so we don't damage any pump seals. And she's going back in. Sort of ran into the dilemma when you're putting the engine back in the car and you really want to get that um, that torque converter on the tr transmission first so you don't damage any seals. Um, and so you stick it on the transmission first. Well, the only problem is, is lining up the bolt holes once you've got that thing on and your flywheel is right, right there. So what I ended up doing is, it's hard to see, but you can see that Allen head right down there in the flywheel. And what I did was, you can actually come down here and stick your hand in in behind there. And when it's still loose, it's tight now, because I got all three bolts in there, but when it's still loose, you can spin the torque converter with your hand, with your fingertips, freely and independently of the flywheel. And so you set up a mirror, say right here where my hand is, with a light, and it'll let you see into the hole and so you take your hand and you spin the torque converter until you see the holes line up and you'll see the threads and everything and then you'll know to uh, stick your bolt in because you'll be right on at that point and once you get the first one started it's pretty much cake because then you just crank your crankshaft with a wrench and uh, spin it around. Okay guys so as you can see I got the engine in now and most of the connections made it's dark and I got a new engine in the car in pretty much a whole afternoon from about 1 o'clock in the afternoon until about 7 o'clock at night. So it went all right, went pretty smooth, with the exception of that little flywheel conundrum thing. But um, it's almost finished up, just got to take care of some turbo issues and post back with updates. All right.